Assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. Nazia and all my friends. In this video, I will be presenting about the hybridization between striped pests and white pests. As we can see, these are the topics that will be covered in this video, which are the introduction, the objectives, results, discussions, and conclusion. Without further ado, let's start. So, hybridization can be defined as the process of crossing or interbreeding genetically dissimilar plants or animals to create a hybrid. There are two types of hybridization which are interspecific hybridization, intraspecific hybridization. Interspecific hybridization is the interbreeding between individuals of different species with the same genus. However, Intraspecific hybridization is the interbreeding between individuals from the same species but belonging to different population. The Moron sexatilis or the striped bass cross breeding with the Moron chrysops which is the white bass. This hybridization is categorized as intraspecific hybridization because it interbreeds with the same species but different population. Pond culture of hybrid striped bass has already developed into a successful sector of the United States aquaculture industry since 20 years ago, with an annual production increasingly exponentially from 10,000 pounds to 1.2 million pounds during that time. According to Hudson, 1989, striped bass were first discovered along the Atlantic coast from New Brunswick to Florida and the Gulf Coast from Florida to Texas. It arrived on the West Coast in the early 1890s and quickly established reproducing populations. Striped bass can now be found along the Pacific coast from British Columbia to just south of the US-Mexico border. Next, the white bass. The white bass was originally found throughout the Mississippi Basin and along the Gulf Coast, but it has seen been widely introduced for recreational fishing throughout the country, particularly in large reservoirs. Although smaller than striped bass, white bass, which can reach a weight of 4 to 5 pounds, is a popular food and game species in many areas. Next, is the similarities and differences between the bass. For hybrid striped bass and striped bass, both have distance, distinct, distinct stripes. However, the hybrid striped bass usually have broken stripes. For the white bass, it has a faint stripe, and only one extends to the tail, the body. Both hybrid striped bass and white bass has deep body which is more than one, one over three of its length. For the striped bass, its body is quite slender which is less than one, of, one out of three length of its length. The tooth patches, the hybrid striped bass has two bones. Up next is the objective. So the reason why scientists produce hybrid striped bass offspring is to produce hybrid striped bass with fast grow rate, temperature tolerance, flexibility to any environmental parameters, and disease resistance. Next is results and discussion. Spawning and reproduction. For spawning, there are two conditions which are natural spawning and artificial spawning. So, due to hybrid striped bass cannot reproduce naturally, the numbers are determined by the number of fish stock. Despite being sterile, hybrids may migrate upstream into reservoirs in the spring to spawn. Normally, the average lifespan for a hybrid striped bass that spawn naturally is 5 to 6 years. Then, for artificial spawning, 
The production of hybrid striped bass fingerlings involve artificially spawning the parental species under hatchery conditions, meaning with proper water parameter conditions. Although other methods have had mixed results, the most common approach to artificial spawning involves hormone injection of mature fish that are already close to spawning, followed by gamete stripping. X are manually fertilized then treated to remove adhesiveness sorry adhesiveness and incubated until hatching so for the spawning habits usually averagely the hybrid striped bass spawns in three particular months which are march april and may then Usually, the water temperatures for the hybrid striped bass to spawn ranges from 60 to 68 degrees Celsius. They prefer rivers, and after releasing millions of eggs, the water current transport the eggs to various locations. Then, they spread the eggs across the river with no parental care or protection. Other than that, during spawning, usually 7 or 8 males surround and bump into a large female. Rip eggs are released and scattered in the water during ovulation stage. Male strip bass fishes releases their sperm at the same time. Growth performance As we know, hybrid striped bass has fast growth rate, rate compared to the parental species. However, this can be improved by feeding the fish with commercial pike perch diets rather than using commercial trout diets as it is currently done. Since protein is a good nutritional value or requirement for fish to grow, pike perch diet had pike perch diets had significantly higher crude protein and lower nitrogen free extract than trout diets. If a hybrid striped bass is exposed to 1.8 ppm total ammonia nitrogen tan at pH 9, it can harm the growth of the hybrid striped bass. A higher level of daily exposure, 2.5 ppm tan at pH 9, can result in death or mortality. With the increasing pH and temperature, the proportion of tan in the toxic unionized form will increase. When levels reach around 3 ppm tan, there is enough unionized ammonia to cause death. These ammonia levels, if not corrected or treated, it may result in a stress-induced bacterial infection, most commonly Flavobacterium columnae or columnaris. That is why the most common method of management, management is to flush the pond with clean water from an appropriate source. Temperature Tolerance The hybrid striped bass can tolerate water temperature ranging from 39 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius to 84 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius. However, the maximum growth occurs between 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. As a result, the highest growth rate in the temperature zone of the United States will occur from March to June and September to November. When or however, the water temperature rises above 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius, a large number of fish can be seen floating upside down at the pond surface. This is most likely due to the fish's inability to digest, digest food efficiently in hot water. So, the best way to avoid this problem appears to be reducing the feeding when water temperatures exceed 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius. In conclusion, the hybridization of the species, which is the hybrid striped bass, has both pros and cons. More experiments and research is needed and yet to discover 
by future scientists to improve the hybrid stripe best. That is all for me in this video. Thank you for listening.